हेलो एवरीवन एंड वेलकम टू सिंपली कोर्ट्स यूट्यूब चैनल कौशल दिस साइड एंड आई होप यू गाइस आर डूइंग वेल टुडे वी विल बी टेकिंग यू थ्रू कैरेक्टर एनकोडिंग इन एच टी एम एल इन दिस वीडियो विल सी हाउ द सिस्टम एक्चुअली अंडरस्टैंड्स अ डॉक्यूमेंट बट बिफोर वी बिगिन इफ यू हैवन सब्सक्राइब टू अर यूट्यूब चैनल ऑलरेडी मेक श्योर टू सब्सक्राइब टू अवर चैनल एंड प्रेस दैट बेल आईकॉन टू नेवर मिस एनी अपडेट्स ऑन प्रोग्रामिंग वीडियोज सो विदाउट एनी फर्दर डिले लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड we have been through entities and cassettes in the previous videos we have a good idea about how we can use different characters on a web page entities play a vital role in all this now as we all know computers don't understand human language so how can a computer do so many tasks initially developers used to work with machine level codes to make a computer understand the task then they realized that we need to do something to make a computer understand human languages like english so they came up with the idea of character encoding any character typed by the user will have a specific numerical value which will then get converted into a binary number so that the computer can understand it in simple terms let's say we are using the character a fine now a numerical value will be assigned to this character let's say 65 is the numerical value now what will happen is this value will be converted into a binary number so the binary value is going to be 0100001 or we can say with five zeros in between now this is the binary value of 65 then only the computer will understand that this particular character is a fine The character encoding reflects how the coded character set is mapped to bytes for manipulation in a computer. The current encoding method we are using is UTF-8. You can see at the top of this document that we have mentioned UTF-8 inside the meta tag. It is the most widely used way to represent Unicode text on a web page. The cassette attribute specifies the character encoding for this particular HTML document. HTML5 specification encourages web developers to use the UTF-8 character set which covers almost all the characters and symbols present in the world currently UTF-8 is an encoding method while Unicode short form for universal character code is a character set so we mention the character and UTF-8 has an alternate decimal or hex value for that particular symbol character or number and we can use that value to print the character or symbol on the web page for example we know that the value of lower case letter a or we can say alphabet a in unicode is 97 and similarly b c and d has values 98 99 and 100 respectively here we are talking about lower case english alphabets so if we want to print the word hello over here on the browser so we have to write it like this so we'll use a paragraph tag over here so we'll write here like this and now we'll write over here ampersand hash then the value of h is going to be 104 fine then similarly we have to print e l l o s o so for e we have to write here ampersand hash 101 then we have to mention l as well so for l we have to write here 108 then we have to write 108 once again for mentioning l two times now we have to write here ampersand hash for o so we'll write here triple one save the program and here you can see we have hello written over here on the browser fine so these decimal values will then get converted into code points and the system will understand that it wants to print the word hello on the browser the same goes for other characters emojis symbols and what not if we want to print any particular symbol then we need to know its unicode first just write the symbol name on google and search for its unicode and we are good to use it for example if we want to print any geometric shape like let's say we are want to print a square so for that what we need to do is we have this unicode 96324 for square so you can check it on google so we have to write here p again then we have to write here ampersand hash this is the syntax for 
entities in HTML. So we will write here 9632, save it. And here you can see we have a square present over here. If you can see it over here, we have a black square. So similarly, if we write here 9633 instead of 9622, save it now. And here you can see we have an empty square present over here. So I hope you guys must have understood the concept of character encoding by now and why we use UTF-8 as well because it allows us to use any character present in the world right now. So that's all for this video guys. See you in another session. If you enjoyed watching this video then do give it a thumbs up. If you have any doubts do let us know in the comments below. Please share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe. Simply cool. Thank you.